play chords like Jimi Hendrix? Well, of course you have. He's only the greatest rock guitar player who ever lived, and he's pretty much influenced everyone who's come after him. One of the most striking features of Hendrix's playing is his ability to create amazing, beautiful chordal riffs. In this video, we're gonna break down some of the essential elements that Hendrix used to construct his chordal riffs so that you can imitate them and use them in your own playing and improvising. Let's get started right now. So let's just break down this first example and then we'll talk about the different components of it that you can use in your improvising. So we're starting the C bar chord that everybody probably knows. And then we're sliding from the fifth fret to the seventh fret on the A string, which is D to E. And then we're barring down the fifth fret on the fourth and third strings, which is gonna give us a G and a C note. And this chord right here, this is actually just a C major first inversion triad. And then we're just playing that E note one more time, which is the third of the chord. And then we're gonna play the same major chord shape we started with, but down two frets, so it's gonna be a B flat chord. this chord the embellishment we're going to play is barring down an F and a B flat on the third fret of the fourth and third strings and while we're barring that down we're going to hammer on to the fifth fret on the fourth string which is going to give us a G and a B flat note. The G is the sixth on that B flat chord which is a really nice bluesy sounding tone to play over it and the hammer on also gives it an extra bit of a blues flavor. And then we're just going to play a D really quick before we get to this F chord. Now one thing that Hendrix did a lot was using his thumb to play the bass note on the low E string. And the main reason for this is it allows you to play some other embellishments around that chord. So we have this F chord here. And then we're going to play like a little line around that chord. So the way this line works is we have this F triad here, F, A, and C. And we're hammering on from an A to a B flat note with our pinky. And then while we hold that note down, we're gonna play the C note on the second string and then just do the whole thing backwards. So the whole example slowly goes like this. So I wanna talk a little bit more about that F chord. This chord shape that we're playing on this F chord is a really important one when it comes to understanding the style that Hendrix used for playing chords. This shape allowed him to put a lot of really cool embellishments around it like the one in the example. But there's a few more embellishments that you can mess around with in your own playing. So the first one is the one that we already played, the hammer on from A to B flat on the third string. So if we hammer on to the third fret on the second string, we can get this D note which is the sixth on the F chord, using the same concept previously demonstrated on the B flat chord. And we can also hammer on to the third fret on the first string, which is the G note, which is the second over the F chord. So just with that one pinky finger, you can mess around and get a lot of melodies out of those notes.
There's one more really cool one that's more specific to this F chord, which uses the open G string. So if we take off our middle finger and then hammer it back on, you'll get this really cool G to A embellishment. Which is the second going up to the third of the chord. So really spend some time improvising with that concept, you'll definitely be able to get a lot of ideas out of it. So the two main concepts to take away from this lesson are number one, you play basic chord and then you play some small embellishments using notes that are found right next to that chord. And number two is that you need to play with a really relaxed, nice feel. A lot of Jimi Hendrix's music was meant to be really relaxed, you chill and listen to. So you don't want to be playing this stuff like this. <laughs> Don't do that, chill out, play nice and quiet. And that way it'll be much more fun for you to play like that too. And my question for you today is, what is your favorite Jimi Hendrix riff and what song did it come from? Let me know your answer in the comments down below. And you know that you want more free lessons like this one, so you might as well subscribe right now and hit the bell so that you get notifications every time I upload. Just do it. You know you want to do it. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. All right, everybody. Until next time, listen, learn, and jam.